I'm doing it, so if I'm doing it, you can do it. You know I'm scared to death. I'm sweating. I don't like needles. So. What she said? Oh, no recording? Yeah. Take a picture of that. Dude, I hate me. Get them feet tapping too. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it was quicker than I thought. <laughs> Welcome to Flip Flop. <laughs> Two, three, go. What's good, y'all? Mr. Flip Flop. So I did it. I got my first shot. Stay tuned. We're going to document everything until I get the second shot. Let you guys know. So I ain't talk about it. I'll be about it. Appreciate all y'all, Mr. Flip Flop. You already know. So real quick, I forgot to give an update this morning before I left my bed. First day after the shot, tired, but I'm not feeling anything. I don't feel nothing in my own. Um, but so far, everything's all right. Feel good. One day after the first shot, first COVID shot, I need to go to the barber shop, but that has nothing to do with the vaccine. What's good, y'all? So day three. Arms a little sore now. I wasn't feeling any soreness before. My arms a little sore. So I'm feeling fine. I've been tired, but I'm feeling fine. Um, I decided to do the magnet test. Everybody keeps talking about the magnet. So I got a magnet. Actually, my Medellin Columbia magnet. I'm about to open up. A spoon. And some coins. I'm really freaking nervous. So let's try the coin first. Magnet test. No. Do the spoon. It didn't stick. Oh, shoot. Now we're going to actually put the magnet. The Medellin magnet. No, magnet test failed. So, we did the second shot, the Sinovac, the Chinese shot. I am complete. First and second shot. Second shot, the lady was kind of heavy handed, so I felt the need to go with my arm. Felt a little funny uh, second day after the second shot, but I'm fine. No fever, no body aches, nothing. Uh, stay tuned, see if anything happens with the next couple days before I put this video out, uh, but I feel fine, so stay tuned for that. What's good, friends and family? So this video right here is me breaking down my vaccination journey. Um, as you guys know, I've said it a million times before. I was always anti-vax as a teenager after reading a book or a pamphlet, excuse me, given to me by Wu-Tang. So I was always anti-vax. But given the, the, the current circumstances, I decided to get vaccinated. Now, stay tuned to the end of this video, and I will break down to you some of my reasoning for doing a lot of the stuff that I did. Okay, so stay tuned to the end of the video after you watch everything and I'll break down a lot of things that I did. What's good, friends and family? So 
trying to complete the video. Um, I did the third shot, the Pfizer shot for the booster shot. Uh, after a lot of research, I decided to do it, get it out the way. Uh, stay tuned at the end of this video for a long explanation. But right now, less than 24 hours after taking the Pfizer, I feel like crap. I mean, my entire body hurts. My head feels like it's about to explode. The injection site feels like someone stabbed me. Um, and I've been stabbed before, so I know what being stabbed feels like. And it feels like when someone stabbed me, my entire body is 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 in pain from head to toe. Um, like I said, it's less than 24 hours after the injection. Um, the other injections, I really didn't get much of a uh, of anything. But I literally woke up in tremendous pain. Uh, so right now, I'll keep you guys updated. As I said, I'm running you through the process of the of the vaccinations. I'm on shot three. Now I'm done. And that's it. But hopefully uh, I'll feel better in a few hours. But right now, less than 24 hours after the Pfizer, I feel horrible. Like, I want to go back. I want to go back to bed, you know. So stay tuned for more. So if you guys watched the full video, you saw I went and got both shots of the Sinovac COVID vaccine, the Chinese version. Uh, and then I went and got the Pfizer booster shot. Well, why, Greg? You're anti-vax. Now you're doing three shots. Well, I'm a science guy. I'm a numbers guy. Currently, in the past two months, guys who have gone to Columbia have gotten sick. I've known a couple of people back in the States, gotten COVID. Uh, I'm just one of them people. I want to travel. I don't want any issues. So I decided to go and do the boost. I didn't even know it was available. So someone told me I went and did it after doing the science, reading the science, excuse me. Um, it's all still new. We know that. But after talking to health professionals, people that I trust, um, I went with their word. I went with the science. I decided to do it. We could debate this all day. Do I agree with it 100%? No. I haven't had a vaccine since I was 18 years old. But given the current situation, and I want to travel, I want to go back to Brazil, I want to go back to Colombia, I don't want to get sick, and I want the best possible situation where if there's someone around me with COVID, I don't get sick. Um, also, uh, as I told my employees... They would eventually make it law in DR, and they did. So you couldn't, after a while, you will not be able to work if you do not have a vaccine. And you will be let go without liquidation, meaning no no uh, employment pay. No matter how long you work there, they can fire you, and you won't get nothing. Um, they already started that in the tourist sectors. They had started it in the resorts first, and then they started going everywhere. I kind of saw the writing on the wall, so I told my employees, let's go get vaccinated. I led by example. I can't tell you to get vaccinated. I won't do it. I'm not a bigot. I'm not a, I'm not a hypocrite. So I went and did it. Um, the entire staff at Flip Flop is 100% vaccinated. Um, myself included, obviously. A few of them have the booster shot as well. They went and jumped in it. Um, not not on my... I didn't tell them they had to do that. I didn't even tell them they had to do the, the um, vaccine. I just said it's going to end up being that way. Um, and it, I was right. Um... A couple of them did the booster after reading the science. One thing I will say about Dominican Republic is the numbers are down. The deaths are down as we are in September of 2021 because they took this seriously. Now we go back to all the frustrating lockdowns, all the nonsense, nonstop. Oh my God. Like, what are they doing? This country has the least amount of deaths in all tourist destinations from COVID and all along the Caribbean and Latin America. They are the bottom of the list of deaths from COVID-19. Um, the deaths have gone down nonstop. Uh, the, ice, the beds in the ICUs are not overflowing anymore. Um, so I think they did a good job. Uh, it was frustrating through this whole period of time, and we still got more to go. It's not over yet. But I will say Dominican Republic did a very good job uh, with the lockdowns, with the uh, vaccinations, and so on. 
So I know a lot of you guys are like, oh man, you following the system and all that. That's all that's all good. But you're watching me from home and I'm gonna be traveling the world. Because a lot of countries eventually will not even accept you without a uh, vaccination like Thailand. I wanna go to Asia, Thailand won't even let you get on a plane if you're not vaccinated. This is a new world we live in. All of this is new to us. Trust me, I was not into this vaccine stuff, but I said, let me do it, get out of the way. Now, if I get sick, then hey, it was all for nothing. And you over there with the, with the conspiracy theory, you were right. But for right now, I did everything possible to not get sick, not get COVID. And from this point forward, I'm not taking no more shots. I'm good. If, so, if they come with a COVID-99, whatever, I'm not trying to hear that. So um, it's all experimental, but hey, we got to we gotta make decisions in life. And I made mine. Hopefully you make yours and make your own decision. Um, so that's my COVID-19 vaccination journey. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all you guys. Like I said, I know a lot of people will not agree, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about my journey. Everything you watch on my channel is my journeys. And I'm honest with you guys. Transparent. So stay tuned for more.